having a proposition or an argument necessitates a thorough examination and evaluation of the issue in order to produce validation or proof that the statement or argument is credible. This validation is especially important in the field of mathematics where every theorem that has been published up to the current process of the study contains detailed proofs. 18-year-old undergraduate student who happens to be attending George Cantor's seminar, the father of Seth Urey, Felix Bernstein was able to present a proof to one of Cantor's theorem. The theorem was later known as Cantor's Schroeder Bernstein theorem that has paved the way to further theorems in Seth Urey since it is known for the concept of cardinality. In this documentary series, our group Sets at Hurray will introduce you to mathematician Felix Bernstein from his early childhood to his great contribution in the field of set theory, which will be discussed on the next series. Welcome, Hurrays! In this season, we will introduce you to Felix Bernstein from his early life to his retirement. February 24, 1878, Felix Bernstein was born in Hale, Germany. His father, Julius Bernstein, is a famous physiologist. His mother was a gifted pianist and a musician, thus he was named after Felix Mendelssohn, a composer. Felix studied in Hill with his father's friend George Cantor before moving to Göttingen to study with Hilbert and Klein. In 1896, at the age of 18, after attending Cantor's seminar, Felix offered proof to Cantor's classic book, The Contributions in Support of Transfinite Set Theory, and developed the Cantor Schroeder Bernstein theorem. Felix had no intention of becoming a mathematician and studied philosophy, archaeology, and art history in Pisa until he was persuaded by two mathematicians who heard Cantor praising Bernstein for the Cantor Schroeder Bernstein theorem. In 1911, he became friends with Albert Einstein after submitting his habilitation and was titled as an extraordinary professor at the University of Göttingen. In 1928, Felix was a visiting professor at Harvard University. In 1934, Bernstein and his family were able to move to the United States. In 1948, at the age of 70, he left his position as a professor in the U.S. and returned to Göttingen where he was named as Professor Emeritus. He lived in Rome and Freiburg during his retirement. In 1956, Felix died at the age of 78 in Zurich, Switzerland. For the next season of the notable contribution of Felix Bernstein in Cantor Schroeder Bernstein Theorem documentary series, Sasa Trey will share to you the other notable works and achievements of Felix Bernstein. Welcome back, Horace. In this season, we will introduce you to Felix Bernstein's other notable works and achievements. According to O'Connor and Robertson, 2008, the counter schroeder bernstein theorem was first stated in 1898 by Emily Borrell in his book Lesson on Function Theory, while in 90s, Felix published about the series of transfinite ordinal numbers, which is one of the important articles on transfinite or ordinals number. In Mathematics J. Adalen, a German mathematical research journal. Aside from his study in mathematics, he is also well known with his study on human blood groups and inheritance. In 1924, in 1925, he has demonstrated a correct hypothesis through his papers from the studies on human blood groups and inheritance. Felix Bernstein Contribution in Set Theory the contribution of Felix Bernstein in set theory was the Cantor Schroeder Bernstein theorem, or commonly known as CB theorem. CB theorem is based on the two proofs that were published in the 1980s. George Cantor was added in the theorem because 
In 1895, he stated the theorem, however, his explanation result is not a strong proof. He himself is aware that his proof is unnecessary. Ernst Schroeder's name is in the theorem because of his proof. He had announced the theorem in 1896 and published it in 1898. However, his work showed many errors. Bernstein then proposed his proof regarding the theorem at the age of 18 and was approved by Cantor. In terms of functions, the CB theorem states that if A and B are set and there are injective functions f from A to B and g from B to A, then there exists a bijective function h from A to B. According to Sebrin, the order relation on cardinalities of sets is anti-symmetric for the term of relation properties in the set theorem. Bernstein provided the first proof of the equivalence theorem of sets or the CBS theorem. This theorem is a convenient tool for cardinality and also one of the fundamental theorems in the world of set theory. Alex Bernstein's contribution in providing the proof of George Cantor's theorem has become and served as a stepping stone to the modern set theory. As the years went by, he officially earned more knowledge in the field of mathematics and physiology. To sum it up, the history of set theory is like a chain that is connected with each other. It can be stated that it's gone from the basics up to the further study of each theorem or logical arguments. Hello, hoorays! This is the end of the notable contribution of Felix Bernstein in Cantor's Schroeder Bernstein Theorem documentary series. I hope you learned a lot about Felix Bernstein. This is your Set Set Hooray signing out. Goodbye!